Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number five, operatives of the intelligence response team under the leadership of the recently appointed IGP, Olatunji Disu, have arrested a suspected arms dealer, Joseph Okala, in Makodi, Benue State, with two rocket-propelled grenades. The 78-year-old, who claimed to be a farmer, was apprehended by the IRT at Ajetachi village, Makodi, where he lives with his nine wives and 36 children. Okala was among the 39 suspects paraded by the IRT in Abuja on Monday. According to the spokesman of the Nigeria Police Force, Frank Mba, the suspect was arrested on June 4th after two weeks of intelligence and surveillance. Okala said he bought the dangerous weapons from bandits on behalf of some people who had contacted him to procure AK-47 rifles for them. The police said the farmer was involved in the sales and resales of arms in Taraba and Benue states, noting that his activities had contributed to the proliferation and equipping of bandit groups in the region. At number four, the Taliban has renamed Afghanistan the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan after its fighters swept into the capital, Kabul. Al Jazeera reports that scores of Afghans ran alongside a U.S. military plane as it taxied on the runway and several clung to the side as the jet took off. Senior U.S. military officials confirmed that the chaos left seven dead, as well as several others who fell from the flight. The Taliban, a militant group that ran the country in the late 1990s, have again taken control of the country. As of Monday, hundreds of people were seen at the tarmac at Kabul's international airport, desperately seeking a route out of Afghanistan after the Taliban's sudden seizure of power. At number three, the special investigation panel set up to probe the indictment of the former head of police intelligence response team, Abba Kari, by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, has submitted its report to the Inspector General of Police, Usman al Kali Baba, two weeks after it was mandated to carry out the probe. The four-man panel, led by the Deputy Inspector General of Police in charge of the Force Criminal Investigations Department, Joseph Egbunike, submitted its findings to the IGP on Monday. Kari is under investigation for his alleged involvement in a $1.1 million internet fraud perpetrated by popular Instagram influencer Abbas Raymond, also known as Hush Puppy. The IGP had on August 1st recommended the suspension of Kari and also set up the SIP to investigate the allegations against him. During the sittings, it was gathered that Kari denied the allegations of conniving with Hush Puppy to defraud the Qatari businessman. At number two, some people suspected to be miscreants set ablaze houses and vehicles along Akimbode Street in Mushin area of Lagos State on Monday night. The director of Lagos State Fire and Rescue Service, Margaret Adesheye, confirmed the incident, saying the miscreants prevented men of the fire service from gaining access to the inferno scene. Adesheye said the Lagos State Fire and Rescue Service Command and Control Room received an emergency alert that houses and vehicles were being burned along Akimbode Street off Olateju Street, Mushin, Lagos. She urged members of the public not to panic that the police and other security agencies had been alerted to intervene and create access to the scene for firemen to kill the ensuing fire. At number one, a former Nigerian Deputy Senate President, Ibrahim Mantu, is dead. A family source told Daily Trust that Mantu died at about 2 a.m. on Tuesday at a private hospital in Abuja after nine days of sickness and isolation. The former Lomika is expected to be buried later today in Abuja. Mantu was elected as the senator representing Plateau Central on the platform of the People's Democratic Party in 1999. He was elected as deputy president of the Senate in August 2001. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands and stay safe. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.